So if you guys have been following along or if you're a subscriber, you noticed a few videos back that we reached 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and we're doing our biggest giveaway ever. Well, you had a few weeks, I think it's been around a month now, and you had a chance to submit a video telling us where you're from, who you are, and why we should pick you for our biggest giveaway ever. Now, our giveaway is a flight out to the Bus Knuckle Off-Road Park. We pick you up in style at the airport for a weekend of rock bouncing, razor riding, you name it, we're gonna have a blast. And we had a few pretty good videos. We're gonna show you our favorite ones, and then we're gonna show you who the winner is. We're gonna start off with Cole Albright. He is from Indiana, and he is 12 years old. That makes him the youngest person to enter the Bus Knuckle Experience giveaway. I'm a huge fan for all your videos and all you guys. I have three for t-shirts and a hat. The hat is for but was for one rock race to riches too. I had it so all of the drivers can sign it and you signed it too. I like your razor buggy and your rock bouncer. I also play Gigabit off road and play with a busted knuckle buggy. Yeah, I run the busted knuckle buggy too. Carter, what do you play with? Uh you know, just K five for obvious reasons. I probably watched some of your videos more the, more than ten times. I would love to be in one. I have a Racer 2. It's a 2017 Turbo, and I've raced it in the Straight Up South by Side series. And that is why I think I should be picked for the Bus Knuckle experience. And my parents are okay. Plus, I've been a subscriber for a long time. Great video, Cole. We appreciate you being a subscriber and watching all of our videos. It's awesome that you are a racer already at 12, especially in a turbo racer because they didn't even have those when I was 12. So let's see who's up next. Here we got Michael Hibbard. He is from New Hampshire and we actually met him up at Mountain Mud Run at New Hampshire earlier this year. And he has a four-year-old daughter that's already into the sport of rock bouncing, which is awesome. Um, and from there, as she's gotten older, she's really started to love them. So, this past May, we went up to watch you guys up in Warren, which was a blast. We got to hang out with Richie and Debbie Keith, uh, meet Randall Key, hang out with Bobby and Stacey Tanner, and also got to meet Jake, you, Matt, and uh, also Travis. And it was a great time. Uh, so I talked to a gentleman down there, and uh, he told me, you know, there was a bunch of options for chassis and a bunch of places out there where I could get one done. And I told him that I really liked his and I wanted a replica of it. So let me give you an idea of uh, what it's going to look like. And I'm sure once you see this, you'll uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of who it is. Uh, um, thank you guys for everything you do. The videos are great. Um, UTV videos, the mega truck videos, the tech tips. Uh, Jake's videos have been great, very good learning. If anybody out there needs to know anything about building buggies, you, you guys pretty much got it covered. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, I get the opportunity. Hope you guys pick me. Um, thank you very much. Michael, we appreciate the kind words about the tech videos. We put a lot of time and effort into those to put those out there and make good quality content for everyone. So we appreciate that. Uh, can't wait to see the new Rock Bouncer. It's awesome that you're building one, especially living in New Hampshire. And we hope to see it next year at Mountain Mud Run. Next up, we got Zeke Sporky from Wisconsin, and he likes to turn around his comb. Woohoo! We're on the top of the mountain, baby. Hey, busted knuckle off road. I'm Zeke Sporky. I'm here in northern Wisconsin around Tomahawk. I'm interested in your contest and coming down to meet you guys and hang out for the weekend because I just absolutely love off-roading. And ever since I found your channel, 
um, rock bouncers and just the whole sport in general has interested me so much. I watched all your videos on suspension theory and four link and all that and you know, I have crazy dreams to do all that stuff to some Tacoma but for now I have this O2 Tacoma right here. Uh, bought it with blown out suspension so I put a lift on it and bigger tires and got the uh, the rear locker working again so it works for now but you know I have dreams to someday build some sort of rock bouncer some sort of off-road rock crawler but um, be awesome to kind of see what you guys have down there and mess around at the, the busted knuckle off-road park so um, yeah I just thank you for this opportunity to be a part of this contest and I hope I hope you guys choose me to come down and meet you guys Zeke, it is awesome that you wheel a Tacoma. I was so pumped when I started watching your video and there was a Tacoma getting beat on. That's what I started out with when I was 15 and I built it up to be solid axle with 36s and it was it was an awesome rig. I almost hate that I got rid of it. But we love that you watch the tech videos and that you enjoy those. Um, it's really not that difficult. It's not as difficult as people make it out to be to fabricate or build a rig. If I can do it, anybody can. Next up we have a Canuck from Canada. Lance Dawn, and he has his own off-road shop in British Columbia, and he has some pretty sick builds. All the time, and I never get a chance to drive the big stuff. I'd love to uh, show you guys how it's done in your own bouncer, but uh, here's a couple projects I'm working on. We've got this Land Cruiser with Cummins, King coilovers, full custom chassis. I just started my own 4x4 business, hoping I can live the dream like you guys. And I'd love for you guys to show me how it's done. This is our shop. Building a rat rod for a customer here with a uh, two-stroke Detroit diesel and a uh, full custom frame. Anyway guys, I hope you pick me. Let the Canadian come show you how it's done. Thanks. Lance, you got some killer builds going on there in the shop. I especially like the full tube chassis Land Cruiser with the Cummins in it. Awesome build. Uh, we really like seeing people out there, you know, putting themselves out there, trying to make a living at, you know, doing what they love. That's what we do every day and uh, I wouldn't change a thing. So, and anytime you're ready, you're welcome to come down here and try to show us up. Up next, we got Dustin Cook. He's got dreads and a nose ring, and he ain't afraid of the skinny pedal. Oh my God! It's a little bit about myself. I grew up right here in Nashville, Michigan, right at this house, basically. This is where all my childhood was spent for the most part, um, building trucks and doing everything since I was a little boy. Uh, my dad was having me wheel since I was a tiny little baby. He was putting me in car seats and putting me in the mud trucks and going through mud and stuff. And now we've resorted into more wheeling and trail riding and going and hill climbing and stuff and not doing so much of the mud thing. But uh, right here behind me, this is the first rig that we ever built. Um, everything that you see was done by our own hands, just working with what we got. Hillbilly Jeep. Uh, originally had a 14 bolt Dana 60 front with a LQ9 and uh, I think it was a 4L60 transmission. Um, this was, I mean, old school. This was really, really early and it was pretty uh, amazing for the time that it was uh, around. It was pretty, pretty amazing done some crazy stuff in this I think me and my dad flipped this when I was around 11 years old going around 70 miles per hour that was a pretty bad wreck and uh, I think we fixed it up a little bit and wheeled it a little bit more but basically since then it hasn't been built and uh, now we stole all the parts for it for a little different project this over here is our most recent build this is probably gonna be one of the sweetest builds that we've done um, basically taking all the old parts out of the green jeep that i showed you there and we're going to shove it in here 
couple more fancy parts I'm not really gonna get into yet but uh once it's built and finished I'll definitely I'm sure have a build video on it this other hunk of junk behind me is our other Jeep um, I actually flipped this last race season um, pretty bad uh, broke the radiator uh, I think I cracked the uh, bell housing on the tranny um, it's there's there's a lot of work to be done um, but uh ain't too bad it's mostly just the front end and then I think a link then this over here is how we get the buggies to all races it's a good old daily driver for Dusty it's a 99 Suburban same year I was born with a 8-1 swap in it it's got some bad power for a big block I love it so enough about me, the real point is here is that Bustin' Knuckle is getting a lot of fans and a lot of viewers lately, which is awesome, because I remember watching them when I was just a little kid on all the Rock Rod CDs when they first started traveling around. Um, I remember buying Rock Rods like one and two, my dad getting all excited, bringing them home, and uh, we would watch them religiously, and uh, actually the reason for the Samurai that's back there was uh, because of the Superman Samurai. My dad originally got that, uh, planning to build something similar to that. Uh, he saw that thing and just thought it was the sweetest rig ever. And we just love hill climbing and beating on stuff. So it was sweet to see someone wheeling how we like to wheel and uh, be really cool to go down there with all the busted knuckle dudes and uh, wheel with you. Um, I love wheeling. It's always been a passion since I was a young kid in life. And uh, no matter what, I'll be down there sooner or later to wheel. Thank you for taking the time to look at my video, guys. Dustin, you straight sent it at that spot at Dirty Turtle. That's awesome. Not many people are willing to do that, especially in a Jeep. And it's really cool to hear people that grew up watching our Rock Rods DVDs. Uh, we hate that they kind of went, you know, by the wayside because DVDs are not really used anymore. But we still put, you know, our Rock Rods episodes on YouTube, and that's kind of taken that's taken the place of that. Um, it's cool to see folks up in Michigan wheeling that hard. Uh, we don't see that a lot up there. Really cool to see that. Um, yeah, get that build together with that samurai and come down and wheel with us. This is our last one before we show you the winning video. This is Cody Lehart. He is from Big Hill, Kentucky, and that's why he drives the Big Hill Bandit. Some reasons you should pick me is because, I mean, this is this is really my life. I mean, we're setting in what used to be the Big Hill Bandit right now. It's, it's seen better days. It's been blew up and beat down, and we're currently working on another project. I actually got into off-road video on myself past a little bit um i'd really like to talk to you about that definitely something up my alley I, i've been working at it and i've actually made a clip for you guys so definitely pick me fly me out hang out drive some bouncers whatever you want to do but made this video just for you guys so let me know what you think big hill kentucky fly me out see ya Why you should pick me for the Busted Knuckles video contest? Because I got the best friends in the whole world. That was a great video, Cody. We really appreciate it. It's really cool to see all the guys beating on their cab trucks and stuff up there in Kentucky. 
And it's even cooler to see someone else getting into the off-road video side of things. If you ever have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. Also, Kentucky's not that far away, so whenever you're ready, come on down and come wheeling with us. So those are just a few of our favorite videos, and we're gonna show you the winning video here in just a second, but we wanted to let you know, if you submitted a video, you're gonna get something in return. We're gonna send you a hat and a t-shirt to everybody that submitted a video for this contest, so you don't walk away empty-handed. Now, we said in the video contest that bonus points were gonna be given for creativity, and when we put out a challenge, this is what it looks like when somebody absolutely nails it. Tony here with Stan Stagger Media. This video goes out to Matt at Busted Knuckle Video. This is in response to the 200,000 subscriber giveaway. First, I want to just congratulate you guys at Busted Knuckle for reaching 200,000. Um, for my fellow YouTuber, I just started uh, to get to 200,000 is a dream of mine. So congratulations to you guys first and foremost. Uh, secondly, uh, the video you're about to watch is uh, something unlike anything I've ever done. Uh, Matt, I actually uh, I met. Well, I didn't actually get a chance to meet you, but I got to see you at uh, SEMA. I stumbled upon the uh, the class that they had at SEMA, um, the social media class and uh, YouTube class. And from that point, I started following you guys, subscribed to the channel, and uh, it just so happened a few weeks later, you uh, you actually came out with the 200,000 subscriber giveaway. And uh, the thing that caught my uh, attention most was you said bonus points are are given for creativity so um, once you said that my mind kind of went crazy and uh, I reached out to a couple friends and basically put together this video you're about to see I uh, hope you enjoy it hope everybody else who watches enjoys it and uh, just thanks for giving me the opportunity making me get out of my box and my comfort zone and uh, doing something extra special so with that being said hope you enjoy and uh, roll the film Stand Stagger Media Yeah, I think that I should win Southern male and race, a Shout out to my friends Ever since I was a child, I knew I wanna race and I Shout out to my daddy, I'm a man because he raced Put this, this, put this passion in my veins, I am a winner Never let up, put the pedal to the metal, ayy let's, let's get it, let's live up to our expectations Never take a breath for granted Sitting here in panic till I make it go ahead Concentrate, young boy, horsepower, gears Never live in fear, one hand steer the wheel While the other one grab the trophy You don't know me, you can't even clone me Oh, oh, all I wanna do is win first place Look, look up in my face You can tell this all I rage about Doubt me if you want it because I'm here today I'm gone tomorrow, no time to ball So why drown? And that bit is all this be the motto hey. Gotta work your fingers to the bones Work your knuckles till they busted Even if you stand alone uh. Now let's be honest I'd sell my soul to drive a rock bouncer I mean, come on Call me Ricky Bobby, you not first, you last Dashing through these lanes like you can't catch up to me I just see the victory, don't need all the company Ay. Looking at them in the rear view Who is you? Stay true to yourself and the things you love Don't you interrupt what I'm trying to prove Ooh, I'm about to lose it uh, Let's get it uh, ay, ay, Let's get it Whoa Whoa, whoa. Tony, when we put this contest out there, or even thinking about putting this contest out there, we never expected to have anything in the caliber of this video. Like, I don't know that I could make this video, or if I wanted to try, it would take me three, four days a week at least to get it accomplished. So when we put it out there that you got bonus points for creativity, you absolutely killed it. So there's nobody more deserving of this with the time you put into this video and we can't wait for you to come down and hang out with us for a weekend so hit us up we'll get you a plane ticket get a uh, weekend picked out and you can come hang out and have a good time 
it was really neat to get to know some of our viewers through this contest. Uh, we, we can't really get a feel for who people are just by comments and things like that on our YouTube channel. So having the video really gave us an inside look on uh, who people were and, and a lot about our viewers that we, we didn't really ever get before. Um, so congrats to Tony for taking the win. He killed it. And uh, for all the rest of you that submitted a video, be sure to send us a message with uh, the t-shirt you want, t-shirt size, uh, the hat you want, and your address, and we'll make sure to get those over to you. And for all of those that, you, that did not um, enter the contest or send in a video, we're going to do another one at 300,000 subscribers, which might be sooner than you think. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because we give away a lot of stuff, and that's kind of how you win. It's a lot like Christmas around here. Well... It is Christmas around here, so Merry Christmas, and uh, we out. Knuckles.